Oh, so look, man, this is the Better View documentary. We doing everything Better View business on this bitch. You feel me? So today, we are gonna be reviewing the Mark Sanders interview. And if you don't know who Mark Sanders is, Mark Sanders killed Badalak. He just recently got out for killing Badalak, and he's telling his story. So he kind of out right now. He's from Oak Park, kind of like showing you where the beef all first started at against Metaview and Oak Park. You know, he basically the dude that killed one of the originators of Metaview. So, you know, this is him getting on camera bragging about what he did or trying not to talk about it. But take, check, man, check this shit out because... It's a lot of lessons in here, and it's a lot of shit I'm going to point out to you, man, as we watch this. I'm going to give you my live review, though. So, yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Daddy. I got one of my first, I got one of my first. Hold on, he bragging about, he bragging about his daddy. Hey man, this shit is a trip. You look at these dudes, man, you obviously see they in their 60s. The first thing I want to say to everybody is, do you think there's Asians, Indians, any culture in the world who's men this old talking about bullshit like this? Like, you got to look at what you put your youth around and influence them with. If you expect them to be anything but this type of shit. You feel me? This, this, this is small ridiculous, ignorant. And you see what type of niggas these is because you see this they big homie. This if your big homie is slow and ignorant and negative, you're you gonna know, be like that too. I was very a very violent individual and I ran with very violent individuals. And when I went to prison I continued to be violent and to run with other individuals that were violent. And uh you know, I don't want. I ain't, I ain't glorifying it. I don't, don't want to. You know what I mean? That you are. Thing more than what it is, but what it is with me, it, it is what, what it is. is. <laughs> you know, bro, I, I, I listen, bro. This, bro, do y'all see the IQ of these niggas? What it is is what it is. What it is. <laughs> <laughs> bro, these people can't barely think at a high level. And y'all got these motherfuckers that's all leaders and y'all motherfuckers are foolish and shit. Man, this shit a trip, man. This is an older man. He should be talking like somebody who has experienced things and can teach you with the right for wrong and not peddling this bullshit in the streets. I don't know why. I was embraced by Wendell Sanders from the highest war. Niggas bored down with Joker. One of my JAMA, one of my JAMA mentors. I was there with Shabazz, aka Woody Wack. I was there with Robert here. Now let's stop. JAMA, like Kumi, those is all branches of the BGF family. If you BGF, that's basically a Bay Area black, you know, prison gang. You're not bloods. You're not you're not UBN. You're not with rocking and pushing the bloodline. And you're in the JAMA, you basically saying you a brother, you a black man, you with everybody. So, I mean, the story kind of already wishy-washy with me. If you from SAC, you already know, you a Damu, you got to go in that prison and really rep some shit. You see what I'm saying? If not, they going to think you a bitch-ass nigga trying to hide under other niggas' umbrellas and shit. But back in the day, you had to do that because it wasn't a lot of I mean, it was Jesse out the heights. I was doing J-Mac, King Humphrey. Out the high, and they all, I was all they little homie, and knew I was a fool. I was with Jimmy Mack. You understand me? I was my this. cousin, John Earl, my uncle, JP, all at the same time. You know? And uh, GP was asking me one of my first incidents, one of my first incidents, and Tracy was a, was a, was a, was a daddy. I got one of my first, I got one of my first daddies in Tracy. How old was you? How old was you? <laughs> Tell us about that, man. 17 years old. You know, uh, you know, it's like any other thing, man. It was some work. It was some, it was some oh. shit popping up with the Southsiders. <laughs> and, uh, you know, one of the homies had, had taught me how to make a thing. You know, I was green, so I got laced on how to make a knife. You're a fall guy. I put the handle on the knife. Little kid in jail, they got you stabbing me. It's fall guy. But how he tell it? Michael Everett, the homie old man, told me how to you know, you you come on, bro. They turn into motherfuckers into doctors or rocket scientists, builders, architects. And these niggas really around here telling you how to make a knife, putting your ass. 
you know, on some things like that, be kind of quick, but I'm sure they want to know. Quick, real quick, back then, we made knives out of flat pieces of metal, sharpened on both sides, using Ajax and baby oil, used on the concrete, sharpening on both sides, 10 on, 10 on this side, flip it, 10 on that side, till you get a point that's like a Christmas tree, double-edged knife, flat piece of metal, we call them flats. You know, some six, some nine inches long. Seven inches long, six inches long, but that's mostly what I was taught to make. I was taught to make a crib knife. Right, you wasn't, you wasn't taught to build fences, you wasn't taught to, to fix cabinets, you wasn't taught that, that no carpentry. My, my you was you was taught to big make knives and shit out of metal and shit. My way who see guy he jama who taught me how to make weapons. Boards out of joke by you also you sat in prison for a bunch of years and learned that nothing that your you know culture and community could do. Huh? Taught me how to care, how to use it and how to care. I had to study anatomy charts when I was in the city. I had to study anatomy charts on how to kill niggas. I, 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 always on the left side. Always on the left, nigga. On the left side of the body is where all the major organs is at. Yeah, man, don't so no matter. No, I can't save that, a motherfucker. I, I can't grow my own food. I don't know nothing about credit. You know what I'm saying? Real estate. You know what I'm saying? I can't heal a motherfucking wound. But I think I stab you on the left side. Man, I'm done. 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 I'm a <laughs> worse. So, 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 so they sent you to prison before you was even eighteen. You uh, you went to uh, you got locked up when you were sixteen, right? Dang, kid Tracy they, at six, turned seventeen up there. So they, it was That's, either two ways it was gonna happen. You was either gonna either get. So basically, what he's saying is he caught a case when he was a teenager. So they was holding his ass because he was a troublemaker as a child. And then when they turned 18, they shipped his ass to prison. No, he didn't. He wasn't in prison as a child. He was turned 17, 18, was already in Tracy. That was gladiator school, girl school, where they basically was like, they, it, was a, it was a YA for kids, for teenagers. Trouble, real criminal adults that all they did was make them worse. This nigga ain't, I hate when niggas get on here and tell their story and don't even tell you the truth or ain't gonna tell you the facts. What you talking for? Why you wanna be out, out here for? Let's just get to the point. You killed Battle Act, right? That's what you did. You feel me? You snuck in his house. You feel me? Y'all was funking. So allegedly, how the story goes, cause you're never gonna tell it. That's why I wasted my time, cause that's what he asked me about. He asked me about the murder. You killed Battle Act for mad of you. Allegedly because he slapped a bitch and then the bitch called you and you came over there and snuck in and, 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 and killed him over over sticking up for a bitch. And I guess for some reason in the streets this is gangster or a reason why Metaview and Old Park be funking and all this old type of shit. I mean, you see what type... I like to just see what type of niggas these niggas really is and how they brain work. This nigga ain't really too sharp and this nigga's a leader causing trouble and shit. Just, this, it ain't no different than like a big U in, in L.A. It's always a big ignorant bully nigga. You feel me? Fucking up the whole culture and shit. But let's get to it, though. Become a punk or something, or you was gonna become a beast. Huh? Well, I was already a beast, so the so the so the so the, so the part of my be becoming a punk wasn't gonna happen. Uh, uh, that wasn't gonna happen. Hold on, my daughter just hit me with something. Hold on, stay right there. Stay right there. Stop the thing real quick. We can't stop it like that, bro. Okay, just keep going then. Yeah, just I like how BGP checked so, him until so, we so, can't so stop it like that for a little child, nigga. Prison system. That's how prison did. Oh, nigga, the CO coming, nigga, stop moving. No. One of two things is going to happen. We have a business, sir. One of three things. You're going to die. You're a kid. You're fucked in the booty. Or, or become a, be a man. Why don't y'all talk about that? All you prison be, niggas glorify prison. Why don't y'all harbor on the fact that y'all be having y'all bullies tampered with? Y'all support rape, homosexuality, and all that shit while y'all in there. Nigga, y'all keep a stitch list about that. But y'all want to talk about everything else. And me coming there, all I did was 
adjust the value knob a little bit, man, and, 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 and turn it up a little bit. I turn, turned up the bass and the treble. Turned it up a I little think, bit. I think, I think that's what messed it up for me, for you know, dudes like me and you. I think that's what messed it up for us because when we went to prison, it didn't deter us, it didn't scare us, it didn't spook us. We went in there and dominated prison. So it was just the yeah. nature of being who we is, so it didn't mess us up. So that's why we didn't have no problem coming back because in there we ran it just like we was on the street. Yeah, it was just another another part of the game. Is what he or in other words, he, nigga, he, he, you niggas, you niggas like belong in a cage for a politician world, trying to use that game. piece of information keep to prove why, that nigga, that we should just keep that niggas in chains. That That's all that explained. Was getting knocked down. If you stood in the way of me coming home, I'm stuck. Yeah, nigga, we built for prison. Nigga, we just go go to prison and be more prison, prison, prison. He said it was another nigga that went to the pen with me. That shit ain't accomplished. That's a young boy. He turned. He went at seventeen. When I when I seen him in folk from nineteen eighty five, he was a homosexual. It was calling a nigga butterfly, taking a nigga shit from him. You understand me? So, um, you still there, bro? Where you at? Where your picture at? GP. Where you at? Look at in the background. Can't see me, bro. In the trap. You feel me? Can you hear me? See what oh, I'm saying? Your mic is off. Your mic is off. We back on? Yeah, we back on. Stop doing that. All that time, you got to show for yourself. Yeah. yeah. You got to call? Yeah. I tried to kill it. You know what I'm talking about? I'm doing, I, tried, I just had one. <laughs> so look, yeah, man. So, uh, that, that what was going to happen. When I got to Tracy, fortunately for me, uh, my seat uh, was a hundred deep in Tracy, nineteen eighty-five. My homies was deep. Niggas had DPH written on the wall 